In this lesson, you will learn about prime and composite numbers. Composite numbers. Okay. The definitions are pretty basic, pretty simple. A prime number is a number that has exactly two factors, and those two factors are always one and itself. A composite number has more than two factors, so it has more than two, two numbers will multiply together to make that number. So we have a list here of the numbers 1 through 100, and I have circled all of the prime numbers. The prime numbers are the ones that are circled, and they only have two factors, 1 and itself. So the only way you can get 2 is by multiplying 1 times 2. Same with 3. 1 times 3 equals 3. There's no other way to multiply two numbers together to make 3. And that's the same with all of these numbers that are circled in red. In contrast, the other numbers, let's just take 24 for example. 24 is not prime because it has more than two factors. We can multiply 1 times 24 to get 24, but we can also multiply 2 times 12 and 3 times 8 and even 4 times 6. So it has many more factors than just one in itself. So all of the even numbers are always composite because they are even and they will be divided by 2, or you can multiply a number by 2 to get that number. All of the numbers that end in 5 or 0, they can be multiplied by 5, some number times 5 to get those. So and each of the other numbers on here, such as 81, you can multiply 9 times 9 to make 81. So it is not prime. It doesn't have exactly two factors, one in itself. So if a number has exactly two factors, such as the ones here in red, it is a prime number. If it has more than two numbers, it is a composite number. More than two factors make a composite number. And that's the end of our lesson on prime and composite numbers.